Hey everyone, it's Jenny. I'm back with another craft fair series video. Um, this is actually two projects that I'm going to share right now. And these are things that I've just been like making along the way and I finally got around to packaging them. So that's why I'm going to share them now. Um, it's crunch time because my craft fair is like the weekend after Thanksgiving and this is the week of Thanksgiving. So I need to finish like finish stuff like not just like half finish it. So um, the other night I worked on these magnets so you can get um, shoot I don't have the sample but you can get these um, they're pretty substantial looking magnets um, they're plastic but you can get them at Daiso and it's like 12 for dollar fifty. but they're um, they're actually better quality than like if you were to buy magnets at like Walmart so I really like that it has the plastic over it and it makes it easy for me to mount or glue things on it. So um, what I did was I had these leftover elements um, and I just decided to make those. My initial plan, which didn't work out, was I was going to make sister stamps um, magnets. But yeah, I'm running out of time. So. Um, I didn't want to waste them. I still have a lot left, but and thanks to Cami. Hi Cami. She she went to Daiso for me and she she bought a bunch. So I'm good for a while. Um, but anyway, this is what I came up with. So this is the same wooden Japanese girl buttons that I got from AliExpress. And um, I just mounted her onto the magnet. Now her head um, is bigger. Her head and her body is bigger than the middle part of her. And so the magnet was kind of sticking out, so I only mounted it by her head. <laughs> oh well. So I they didn't really pair up with anything else. Like it didn't match all the other stuff that I had, so I just put the three girls together. And then the rest are just kind of different samplings of like the different um, buttons and acrylic pieces that I have. So I thought that this stitch was super cute. It says Ohana Coffee and it's made to look like the um, Starbucks logo. So I have that one and I have a Stormtrooper one which I'll share a little bit later. Um, and then these unicorns are super popular. I bought these, um, I think they're like acrylic pieces, not buttons, but... And then I had these hearts from before. So I just kind of packaged them up and I just mixed and matched them. I had a couple of Totoro's and this um, cupcake and this resin heart. And then I had this huge strawberry, and then I had some Rilakkuma and Korilakkuma pieces. Um, I really like the lolly, yeah, the lollipop that's like leftover from before. I have a nerdy Hello Kitty. Um, so I just kind of mix and match them. Oh, here's the Star Wars one. See, so it looks like a Stormtrooper coffee. Look at that was kind of cool. Um, I had some bows more Hello Kitty. Oh, and then I had these um, leftover Monstera leaves, so I added that, and then the um, wooden, more wooden buttons, and more Monstera leaves. So, um, what I did to package them, these are my leftover packaging from the, when I used to do Sister Stamps packaging, um, and I had these, a bunch of these glitter cardstock scraps. So I didn't want to waste them, so I kept them in a bag for a long time and I just decided to use them um, to package. So I trimmed them down to fit inside here. Um, and it's good because it, these are really dimensional but it still fit. So um, what I was struggling with was like, okay, because it's a magnet, they may kind of um, be attracted to each other. And so I was a little worried about that, like I didn't want them to clump up together in the package. And so I was trying to find videos of other people who use, um, who were selling magnets and packaging them. Um, and I think, I can't remember what they did, but it didn't, I don't know, I didn't want to do it. And I think one of the techniques was to use like a dab of, from your glue gun. But I wasn't sure, I didn't want it to rip the paper and all that. So what I ended up getting was um, glue dots, which I felt were similar enough, but these are temporary glue dots. Um, and they do, they come off really easily, So and they're that size. So it actually fits the back of the magnet perfectly, and it, it was even able to stick to the glitter paper, which is rare. Um, so if you buy these from me, you need to rub the glue dot off of it because <laughs> it's only used for the packaging purpose 
Um, so I'm not sure how I'm gonna sell these. I'll probably do these um, like a certain price and then if you buy more then you'll get a, a cheaper price. Um, so I'll do that and then I also have these um, these bulldog clips that I recently got so so these are I don't know why they're expensive because they seem like a more like an office supply to me but I was finally able to get the silver ones now Marissa who is um, creative young mama she did a project like eons ago and I've always been looking for these silver bulldog clips so that I could make the same things where she got her bling and she glued it to the top and I thought it's so pretty because it's all silver so anyway I um I finally found them I can't even remember where I got them from because it's been a while um, and I'm pretty sure I got these white ones at Target uh, maybe the dollar spot but um, if you just go to like office marks they're kind of expensive so I, I, I don't quite understand why um, but whatever so I finally got a hold of them at a decent price and so this is what I did I just went through my bling collection and whatever ones I was willing to spare to part with um, then that's the ones that I glued on there so I I packaged them in a pack of three here's another one um, here's a heart one and then this is the one everybody has except these are different colored ones and then I had some um, I, of the Japanese girl and the fan that I had done. I think I have two of those sets. I don't know where the other one is. And then um, I just made these because I found six of the clips that were not um, used. I For whatever reason, I guess I ran out of time or I didn't want to, I don't know. So I, I decided to make Hawaiian type. So I did two sets of those. So, um, like I said, I probably will do a combination of, like, between these two. Like, if you want to get the, the bulldog clips and the magnets, I'll probably do, like, a deal if you buy so many packs um, so that it comes out cheaper. Um, and part of it is I just want to get rid of it. Um, I don't want to get stuck with these things. I guess they're good. They're good to give, like, coworkers and friends, like, if you're going to give them a bunch of stuff. But, um, I don't know, I just, I'm tired of looking at them, so, um, so that's my plan. But anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. Um, I used a lot of these on, like, clothespins in the past, and so they're just kind of like my leftover of my collection, and I'm, I'm, like, tired of looking at it, so I want to get rid of it. Anyway, um, I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye!